going on, folks out there? My name is Ottomir, and this is the Hard Black Truth, and I'll get right into it. Um, you idiots out there, you're not Indian. You're pretendians. You're doing exactly what the white folks are doing, how you call them $5 Indian. Yeah, they might be $5 Indians, but they've done their lineage. They've traced it back. They found their ancestor, and they actually got paperwork to stand behind it. And because they are the dominant part of this society, Many of these Native American associations welcome them with open arms. The reason they don't welcome you with open arms is because you are a pretendian. And yes, they understand that they enslaved many of your ancestors and by default brought you into the tribe. They also understand that many of your escaped ancestors were marooned and were able to uh, uh, link up with many of their ancestors. And you either created your own tribes or they brought you into their tribe. So in that regard, I don't knock anybody who says they have a great, great grandmother or grandfather who was part of a North American tribe. I don't knock that. There is there is most definitely historical precedent for that. But at the end of the day, part of the reason why they are so willing to accept the excuse me, the five dollar Indian and they're not wanting to accept your pretending in ass is because. Number one, the dominant society runs shit. Number two, they recognize that you were brought over here. They recognize that you were brought over here along with the colonizer. We'll deal with the colonizer because, you know, they kind of run shit. And at the end of the day, we got to get shit from them. But your black ass, we ain't got to get shit from. OK, all you got is an association with us, either because we enslaved you or because you escaped and you met up with us along the way during the trail of tears or something like that. And I'm being facetious as I say that. But that is what it is. They're recognizing that as they take uh, more land, as they take more of their reservations, as they take more of what they feel is rightfully theirs, they recognize that it's theirs. It belongs to them. And your black ass actually came over here with the European. You know, it wasn't by your own free will. They feel bad for you and everything. But at the end of the day, that shit doesn't matter. They're not about to do away with actual history and facts as they see it in order to appease you and yours. So where you're going to find yourselves is out on the outskirts while you're sitting here talking about people are tethering on to you as a black American, because that's what we hear from a lot of these pretendians. Uh, no, it ain't folks tethering on to you. It's you tethering on to the Native Americans, the pre-colonial Native Americans. And I hate that I have to say this because folks want to jump into flights of fancy and talk about, well, the original people here in the United States of America and broad, they were actually Africans because Africans went everywhere. Now I'm talking specifically the people who were here uh, that were the predominant uh, uh, people of the lands in North, Central, South America, and the West Indies. And those were Native American people that if you go into the early descriptions from the people that actually traveled here, they describe a people phenotypes may have changed from here to there. Heights and things may have changed from here to there, but they describe red skin, melanated people, not heavily melanated like the people of Africa, but they do describe melanated people. They were not Caucasian in appearance and they had long straight hair like that of a horse's mane. Black people just don't have that. Black people just don't have that. I need to get that through your skull. That is not an African feature. That is not a feature that is predominant to black people. OK, those were Native Americans and they came down through the motherfucking Bering Strait. I hate that I have to describe some shit that you learned in school. They came down through the Bering Strait. They went down through Central America. They populated the goddamn South America. They came back up into the West Indies, okay? Yeah, they may have been some traveling. They, they were, if they were able to travel through the West Indies, it stands the reason that they were able to travel to Africa. It also stands the reason that some Africans were able to travel to South America and the West Indies as well. I don't disbelieve that there were black people here prior to colonization, prior to Columbus landing. I believe that there may have been some black people here on the Western Hemisphere, but the number was few and far between and largely absorbed by the dominant 
people that were here at the time and they were not black stop tethering yourselves to them it's embarrassing you embarrass me you embarrass my children you embarrass black people by doing this nonsense stop showing pictures from the 1800s columbus came here in 1492 as far as we know it that's the 1400s you had all of the 1500s you had all of the 1600s you had all of the 1700s Plenty of admixtures had taken place. Plenty of wars had taken place. Plenty of maroon people had taken place. Plenty of enslavement of Africans by Native American tribes had taken place. Do not come to me with your 1800 photograph. It, it, I'm, that is just stupid. And this depiction, because folks will love to use these, uh, they call them tin can or tobacco store Indians. These sculptures were made by people that never actually saw Native American. And because they were trying to depict people that they viewed as savages, as lower than them, they looked to the one thing that they did have in front of them that they felt was savage or lower than them. And they used the African to describe or, or to portray the Indian. And they've done that historically doesn't make you an Indian at the end of the day. I need black people to put on their thinking caps. I need some of you to exercise critical thinking because critical thinking has been lost. And unfortunately, I believe it's being done so willfully. I get it. These white folks have given you so many images. They've poured image after image after image of dastardly, disgusting, deplorable living conditions of things that are abhorrent that are taking place culturally on the African continent and some places in some of the more unseemly parts of South America and the West Indies. And they continue to focus that on you and make you watch it and make you see it. And they got you to a point that you are ashamed of yourself. You want to claim your blackness, but you are ashamed of your African ancestry. And I, for one, have no sympathy with someone who is that far gone with shame for their African ancestry that you have now decided you're going to tether yourself to the Native Americans. You are not a Native American. You are not those people that were here prior to colonialism. You are simply not. You are the people that were brought over here from the African continent. You are the people that were brought over here from those who had been seasoned in the West Indies because the West Indies acted as a hub for the popularization and the goddamn spreading of the fucking European powers through the Western Hemisphere. They were able to take on the South American continent. They were able to take on the North American continent. And they did with the use of forced labor of people that they brought over from Africa after they had depleted their resources with the people that were here when they first got here. They ran them off, they gave them diseases, they raped them, they pillaged them, and they drove them west. Imagine the Native American having to deal with other tribes of people who they may have not had contact with for centuries other tribes that they may have actually been to war with but now you're together moving westward the same thing with the maroon populations black people that were able to get free many of them took those black africans under their wing because they did not recognize them as enemies and then you have the forced admixture of the native american tribes that took on african and west indian slaves for themselves that happened too. So you have your ancestry and, and, and your great, great, great grandmother being an Indian, either because they were raped, they were enslaved, or they were taken into the fold after being marooned, after escaping to their freedom. Either way, it doesn't make you those people. And when those people get their contracts for their lands, uh, for their reservations, for things of that nature, they're going to take that for themselves. And yeah, they'll be more accepting of the $5 Indians because, of course, they're having to get all of this from those white folks. But your black ass, they recognize that you were brought over here. Yeah, they may have felt sorry for you in a sense, or they just acknowledged that they enslaved you and you were part of the tribe by default, but they recognize that you are African. So it's about time you damn near recognize that as well. 
Those are my two cents. You guys let me know how you feel. There's so much I wanted to say about this. Maybe I do a part two video, see how it goes. You guys have a good one. Peace. Spiritual Poems of Encouragement for the Soul by Michelle Staddard, also author of Broken But Not Bound, another illustrated masterpiece for those of you who enjoy spiritual poetry. Some of the works by my son, Omani Staddard, links in the description. Holla at me. Peace.